In this video, we're going to take a look at how to resolve a merge conflict inside of Vim using the Vim Fugitive plugin. So I've got some changes right here on this branch that I've added, where I've added a username column to a user's table. The specific code details aren't super important. Just uh, for you to know is that I've created a scenario where if I open up to another branch and I am to open up the PR for that branch, like so, then I can merge these changes into the master branch or into the main branch, and then I will have uh, some changes that I need to pull into my other branch that will then cause a merge conflict. So let's go ahead and do a, yeah, rebase and merge. I'm gonna hit that button. I'm gonna confirm it. Great, those changes are on main now. So I'm gonna jump back over here and I'm going to jump back to the feature branch that I'm working on. And I now know, perhaps I was the reviewer of that other PR, and so I, I know that there are changes on main that I need to integrate here. So um, I go ahead and I check out main, and I pull in these changes, and I go back to my feature branch, and I want to rebase these changes in. So I say get rebase main, and we have a merge conflict. And I can even see what that merge conflict looks like by saying, I uh, get status right here, right there, but let's uh, do this from Vim now. So if I open up a get stat, get summary split with the colon get command, we're gonna see we have this unstaged change right here, which is representing the conflict. And so if I go ahead and open that up, it'll open up in the file above. And I can see that this right here is one of the conflicts, but let's assume I open the file and I can't see where the first conflict is. There are a couple of bindings that Vim Fugitive offers for jumping back and forth between these merge conflict markers. And those are the square bracket N, to go in either direction. So if I do close square bracket N, I go to the next one and I can keep hitting that to move forward. I can hit open square bracket N to jump back, just like that. So I'm going to, let's see, I wanna pick this later one here. So I'm going to get rid of that, that. So I've now resolved that first conflict. Now I'm gonna see if there's anything else in this file that's conflicting, so I'm gonna do another close bracket end, and it jumps down to here. I can see there's a chunk of lines that are coming from the head or from the from main, and then I've got this line that I just added. Um, that's a similar story here. I actually want all of these changes, so I'm going to delete that line, delete that line, and delete that line, thus combining the changes from main with my current change. Now if I hit close bracket end again, there's nothing. If I hit open bracket end, there's nothing. It doesn't jump. That means this file is now conflict free. Now it's unsaved and it's still showing up in the unstaged area here. So what I'm gonna want to do is do a G write and it's gonna tell Git that I want to uh, write and add the change. And so that now moves it into the staged area. So I can jump back down here, and if I do an equal here, I can see what's going on. I can see, yes, this is where I want the this particular line. And if I scroll down further, I can see that this line that I added is here alongside these other lines, which uh, don't appear as part of the this particular diff because the they were a part of the conflict that was resolved. Oops, so I can go back up and I can recollapse this. I feel good about this change. So I can do uh, git rebase continue, hit enter, and now everything's clear. And if I do a git log, I can see my latest commit is here right on top of the commit that came from main. And so that Merge conflict is resolved. My branch is in a good place. It's ready to be pushed up to the 
uh, remote if I'm ready for a PR. And that's all there is to resolving a merge conflict within the context of Vim using Vim Fugitive. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and definitely leave any comments if you have questions or if you have suggestions. If you want to see me do things in a different way, definitely let me know and we will see you in the next video.